Basically, a television company read about what I did and read about what Phil did, and then they, found, they thought they knew they wanted Phil, and then they found this girl, this Italian girl with like legs up to here, but she had a really strong accent, and then this other girl who was, who was lovely but a bit dull, and then me. I'd add, add into that, there were only three people in the country that were doing what Curti and I did, so I yeah. don't think they had a lot of choice. No, they didn't have a lot of choice. And, um, and then we did the uh, pilot, which was non-transmittable, which is, I mean, I'm grateful every day for that. And <laughs> we were in the hotel the first night, having filmed the first day in Lewis in Sussex, <clears throat> and I padded down in my socks. And Phil was like, you can't walk around the hotel lobby in your socks. I was like, I've been wearing my shoes all day. My feet are killing me. And he, you could see he was embarrassed by me. And that kind of went on for 15 years. <laughs> Still yeah. true today. Still true today. So. I had. I had. Um, and the moment I saw it, I thought it's, kind of, it's very natural ground for Coast United. It's playing to all of our strengths. And it's a very relevant topic. It's something that everybody discusses in their home. Shall we stay? Shall we spend some money? Shall we settle? So it, just, it's, it was very, very timely. For, uh, for me, it was, um, I never get a chance to follow through. You know, on location, 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 we find it. So to be able to follow through and do a show about people's relationship with space and how they use that space, I'm fascinated by the science of square footage. What is a useful square foot and wh what is an expensive but pointless square foot? And so that bit really appealed to me. But actually rather than advising somebody and then leaving, actually advising them and then helping them do it yeah. is quite satisfying. Yeah. And it's not like one of those tidy up shows where you know they're gonna just mess the place within a week. You know, actually we could go back in five years time and decoratively, it might not be the same, but in the science of the space... They might have sold space, it and moved somewhere lovely. They will not have sold it and moved somewhere lovely. <laughs> they will if I've helped them. I think the um, Canadian-American um, version, I'm not sure that the couple knew one another before. We've worked together for 15 years, so there is obviously a... Um, it's, um, it's a very strange thing and we get asked about it a lot and we have always got on from when we first met. We've got a lot in common. We're both one of four. You know, we have a sort of similar family dynamic. Um, we both have two, two boys. We're both quite committed to kind of being with our, fa you know, doing the work and then being with our families. And um, I think I was worried that the show would require too much combat combativeness and I, I wasn't prepared to deliver that and actually nor was Phil and, and, and what's great about the UK show is that there is a different dynamic to the other shows not necessarily better but just different and we were very clear with Channel 4 that we are making location location and all of our other shows is about helping people helping people through a difficult decision a bit of a dilemma and although um, Love It All List is a competition between the two of us, at, at its heart is we want what's best for the family. For the, and it can't be about us. You know that thing where people say, you know, it's, it, it's, not, it's not all about you. And, and that's really important. You know, it, Phil and I have got that competition, but it can't be over the top of anything that the house owners need. I think it's fascinating to sit with the family to start with who are, have been at loggerheads arguing sometimes for years about shall we go, you know, and, and people have got really entrenched in their kind of positions. So it's really interesting to sit with them and unravel that and pick it apart and see, see what's at the heart of it. I think sometimes you go in and you think he's being really mean or she's being really mean or they're not communicating properly or can't they see how damaging this is for the kids? And then you come out of it, good friends. I mean, we haven't had a single show so far, touch wood, that hasn't been a much, you know, more understanding relationship of the people by the time we've come out. And... Um, I've found it fascinating taking a couple house hunting, one of whom is desperate that I'll cock it up and, and won't succeed. That's actually been really funny, it's been amusing. Um, one desperately wants me to find the house, one desperately doesn't. 
I think, to be fair, there's less pressure on Phil in this show. Yeah, for him, it is a, it's an easy, much easier ride. <laughs> you know, for that me... That was said with feeling, wasn't it? For me, it, it is difficult because you're going into negotiations and also on a style sense. I know in some of the other shows, the style is controlled by the person in my position, the designer. That is not the case with Love It All at UK. I can guide, I can suggest, but at the end, I do have to stand back. Mm. And um, there and have been money. times. They, and it's their given money. You a budget. If they want to yeah. have Union Jack wallpaper, it's their money. And, um, you know, it has been hard at times. And there have been a few tears in the beginning. I was like, I can't have that go on TV with people thinking I chose that. So, you know, that has that been an interesting thing for me. But really, a, good exercise in diplomacy and compromise. What's your middle name? 